Hi, boys and girls. It's Mr. Drunkson back with another fabulous page of your packet. We're going to get into boxing up contractions, okay? So here we go. We're going to read our directions. Point, ready, read. Directions. Read the two words on the ice cream scoops. Write the contraction in the boxes. Okay, so we're going to start off with our first one. Our two words are can not. So if I go down here, we have can not. Okay. So one of the important things that we have to know about contractions is it's a shortening of words. We kind of use it in our everyday speech and writing. If you often look at it, um, it contains an apostrophe. So if we shorten these two words, we get into the word can not. Okay, it becomes can't. And you see that we put the apostrophe after the end there. It becomes can't, can't. Okay, the apostrophe is really important because it tells you that there's more to the word, but that you're going to shorten it. Okay, so cannot with that apostrophe in there becomes can't. Okay, so if we were to look at it, can't. With the apostrophe, you have to include that apostrophe in there. Okay. We have number two, which begins in two has not. So if we wanted to shorten this into a simpler word for writing or language, it would become hasn't. That apostrophe is really big there. Hasn't. Okay. So if I put that in there, hasn't, have to make sure to include that apostrophe. It's a shortening of those two words together. All right, getting into number three, we have will not, will not. This one's gonna be kind of weird because you're completely changing like the tense of the word, or not tense, I shouldn't say, but like you're changing the word almost entirely, okay? So this one is becomes won't. I won't do that. Okay? Won't. As you can see, it still has kind of will in there, but not too much. It's won't. Okay. Here we go. Number four, we have he is. Why don't you go ahead and sit there and pause the video and see what you can come up with for he is and what the shortening of that is. All right, boys and girls, so I hope you had a chance to pause the video and see what you can come up with for he is, all right? So we're going to go ahead and shorten that word, and it's going to be H-E apostrophe S for he's. He's stands for he is. Okay. We're going to go ahead and do one last one, and then I'll set you off on your own. We're going to do that is. Okay. That is. So if we take a look at it, we have the original word of that apostrophe s. Okay. That's going to be that's. That's. So that stands for that is. That is just crazy that I taught you how to do contractions. Okay. All right, boys and girls, let's go ahead and continue on with this page. Let me know if you have any questions on Dojo or give me a phone call. Um, let me know if you need any help. Um, and I'll be around for more videos, okay? See you soon.